What's up amazing ballroom dancers, Alexi is here and welcome back to Ballroom with Alexi. Today I'm super excited to share with you 7, 7 tips on how to improve your spot turns in rumba. So without any further ado, let's jump in the first tip. Alright guys, let's do it. So first tip on my list is very fundamental. Please make sure to have a best posture you can when you're doing your spot turn. This is uh, so basic, but believe me, without a good posture, there is just almost no way you will be able to do a good spot turn. So, first of all, stay tall, make sure that you're engaging your core, you're putting yourself in the solidness, you one piece, not relaxed, but solid. Stay tall, open your collarbones, yes, make sure that your chest is open and center is collected. Yes, you nice, tall, and light. Ta ta ta. So, first tip please do the turn with a good posture. All right, guys, so for the second tip, I highly recommend for you guys to be more aware of the amount of turn you're doing when you dance in this spot turn. So, this one will take a little bit more explanation. So, let's say we are starting our spot turn from the New Yorker and we're going two, three, four, and one end, right? So, here is step which is before the turn. So make sure that that step four is already with an eighth of a turn to the right, okay? So what do I mean by that? So it's not a step to the side without any turn in your foot, but it is an eighth of a turn to the right in your foot, which will allow you to turn less at the, with the next uh, action, right? So I'm making step four with the eight of a turn, then I count and one end, it's my another eight of a turn, okay? So I divide quarter for two eights, four and one end. So now second, I'm making step forward on the left and I'm turning for half a turn on my left foot, okay? Very important, this is the main thing, right? half a turn, 180 degree from facing this way to this way. I'm still doing this on my left foot. Then I'm making step forward and I'm finishing everything with the quarter turn. Please make sure to know these alignments, okay? This is just, this orientation will make you be more certain when you turn. Pam, 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 okay? Good, awesome. Let's move on. All right, guys, so here's my third tip for you. And as every single tip in this tip list, this one is super important. Okay, so here we go. Make sure to transfer your full body weight on the turning foot, okay? So what do I mean by that? This is the rule that when you turn, you have to have an axis around which you're going to do your rotation. This axis needs to be proper aligned over the standing foot, which is your point of support, okay? So it's impossible to turn while you, your weight is splitted or not fully transferred. So, uh, I mean, I would say it's impossible to do a good turn this way. So make sure to transfer your full body weight, commit your full weight and turn while you staying on that foot. This is will work for a quarter turn. This is what will work for a half a turn. This is will work for a full turn and more, three turns as well. <laughs> All right, let's look at this at the example. So we go two, three, four, staying on the right, turn over right with the full weight, left, turn over left, finish your turn staying over left, step forward to the right, turn over the right foot and then step, okay? Please pay attention to this tip. This is probably the most commonly mistake, the most common mistake I see is that we're starting to turn in the split weight position, okay? Mm -mm, don't do that. Transfer your full weight and then turn. Let's move on. All right, guys, right now I would love to talk to you about my fourth tip, but somehow I've managed to have both of my shoes untied. So while I'm going to tie them back in, I would like to talk to you about my Patreon account. 
So if you don't know what Patreon is, it's actually a really awesome platform which allows people to support their favorite creators. So if you like content I'm producing here on this channel and you want me to keep producing these videos for our community, please head over to patreon.com and find out more information on how you can support me. So if you will become my Patreon, you will get access to exclusive videos on conditioning, on practicing and on foundations as well. So please head over to Patreon account and find out a little bit more about that. By the way, talking about Patreon, I would like to say huge thank you to Mark, Nikki Grant, Daniel, Fabian Richter, John Maruta and Bruce. All of those guys are now supporting these videos for all of us. Thank you very much, guys! Now we can do the fourth tip. So for the fourth tip, I would highly recommend for you guys to pay more attention to the free, to the supporting leg, okay? So when we're doing the spot turn, our main turn happened on the left foot, right? But the right foot is our supporting foot. So usually I see people transfer way too early on the supporting leg. But we already know that our turn is going to be on the left foot and the right foot should be completely engaged and supporting our full body over the left. So it's like this third wheel or additional help which just makes us more aligned. So make sure that you are holding, put it to, um, holding it engaged entirely so your thighs engage your cuffs engage your ankles are strong and you are supporting your turn one it's like a little drilling drilling motion on the right foot step on the left foot and the right foot helps us to turn and if you turn and if you're doing your spot turn on your opposite foot same thing happening with the left you turn in over the right and your left is a supporting leg. And make sure that the heel stays up. Don't put it down, heel up. Da 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 da. So for the tip number five, we are going to talk about hips during the spot turn. So let's look at our hip action, which is happening during the spot turn. So basically what we're doing, we are saddling hip from lifted to the saddle, right? So from hip lift to hip saddle. So that's supposed to happen during the turn. Where is it, right? It's when we are staying over the left foot, right here I have a hip lift and I finish my turn with the hip saddle. Okay, so remember, you start, you transfer your weight, oops, with the hip lift and then you saddle with the hip saddle. Saddle with the hip saddle. Same thing with your right foot. Hip lift during the turn. Ba, 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 ba. You creating a saddle position, right? You still staying over standing foot. You saddling, you still staying in the ascending foot, and your right foot is supporting, your posture is straight, and you turn happen over the left foot. All of that we're already using, right? Step forward, settle. Step forward, settle. Down. Use those hips, guys, okay? All right, so for the sixth tip, we're going to talk about how to make this spot turn look sharper, look more snappier, zippier, crispier, all of those things, okay? So basically how to make it look sharper, okay? So for that, we're going to add a head action to the turn. So we're going to add the spotting elements, okay? So um, we start on four, one, and I'm making step forward. So now while I'm doing the turn, I still keeping my head looking to the same point, okay? Same position. And only when my shoulder approximately at the chin level, that's when I take my head and change it to opposite wall, right? So look at this again. I go four, one, two, and 34, okay? So kind of like my shoulder takes my head and then 
I change the direction. That action will add sharpness and speed, visually speed for your turn. Four, one, two, up, three, four. Same thing here. Two, up, three, four. Okay? And for the seventh tip, this is a very general tip, but it's super important thing. Please make sure to practice your turns slowly, okay? So make sure that you stay in and actually drilling this turn millimeter by millimeter, pixel by pixel, second at the time, one second, one movement, one angle, at the time, one degree at the time, all right? Break it down as slow as you can and add the control into your turn. So, and as well, if you would like to practice this turn slowly with my guidance, please head over to my blog where I'm going to release a longer video where we are practicing all of those tips. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope those tips were helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like those tips, at least one, please make sure to press like and leave me a comment below. All right, thank you very much. I will see you really soon. Take care and have fun dancing. Yay!